In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the basics of how to use the Bitfavo app. So I've used Bitfavo for a few years now, and it's my personal favorite crypto exchange because they have some really low fees and they have all the cryptocurrencies that I want to buy, which is just the basics. But I'll just show you how you can use Bitfavo and all of the essential features you need to know, which are mainly depositing money, withdrawing money, buying crypto, sending crypto, receiving crypto and selling crypto. And I'll also show you how you can stake and invite friends and how you can trade your first week up to, I think, 10,000 euros without any fees. So first of all, you will need to create your account. I have already done that. If you haven't, you can sign up through the link in the description. And as you can see, if you do sign up through the link in the description, I will earn a commission, but you will be able to get 10,000 euros in commission-free trades. So if you want to claim that, just sign up through the link down in the description. Now, after you first create and verify your account, what you can then do is here in the available balance section, just click plus. And now here you can do a deposit. So you can either do a euro deposit or a crypto deposit. Now to just deposit from your bank or debit or credit card, you want to go with euro. For example, I can do 15 euros and then click preview. And now here for the method, for me it's ideal, but I can also pick a SEPA bank transfer and then I can just click view bank details for the transfer, but ideal for me is much easier. So I can just click confirm and deposit. Then it will take me to my bank where I can then go and paste. I'll just do this right now. So I've now completed this deposit. So now click continue and it will take a few minutes for it to show up. So in the meantime, I'll show you how you can sell crypto and also how you can buy it. But you can see your available balance right here. But for now, I'll just go to assets in the bottom left. And here you will see all of the assets on Bitfavo. So you have the trending ones here, which are most of the big ones. You can also go by the top gainers, losers, and just A to Z on alphabetical order. For example, if I go by the trending ones, and let's say I just want to buy some Bitcoin, then I can click Bitcoin. And you can see the chart right here for the last 30 days, year, whatever you want. And you can also choose to have one of these charts if you prefer this. Now for me, this one is simpler, so I'll just use this one. And then in order to buy it, you can see the big buy button at the bottom. So if I click buy, I can then select how much I want to buy. And you can see in the meantime, the money has been added to my balance. And I can click max or I can click advanced. And then I can also set an order price. So basically, for example, I can set the order price when the price goes down to 90,000, then I want to buy. Or what I can do is set it to current and then minus 10%, minus 5%. And then only when it hits that amount, it will then perform the buy order with however much you want. So for example, the 15 euros. Now you can also do the same thing with a sell order. So I already own some Bitcoin, but basically you can also set an order so that you have the current price. So this can be either a stop loss or when you just want to take profit. So for example, 90,000, then it will be a stop loss since this is lower than what it is right now. And then when it reaches that price, so it goes down to 90,000, then it sells automatically. But for now, I'll just do a simple order. So just one of these where it buys it at the current price. So I'll click preview order. Now you can see the fee is really low, just four cents. And I click buy Bitcoin. And now I have bought this Bitcoin and I can click continue. So I already own some, so therefore it's about 25 euros now. And that is how you can buy and deposit on Bitfavo. Now, if you want to sell and withdraw, then just go to the cryptocurrency you want to withdraw. And in the wallet section right here, you can see everything you own. So for example, Bitcoin. And then instead of clicking on buy, now you want to click on sell. And again, you can also put in a sell order so that you sell when it reaches, for example, 100,000. Or again, set a stop loss. For now, I'll just click max, which just takes the maximum amount of Bitcoin that you have. Now, the reason that I cannot sell everything right now is because I have an open order right here, which will sell when it reaches a specific price. But if I cancel this order, then I will be able to sell all of it right now, as you can see right here. So then preview order and then click sell. And you can see again, the fee is pretty low at 0.25%. So if you buy 400 euros, you will have a one euro fee. So then just click continue. And now I have sold it and it's in my balance again. So now if I want to withdraw money, which is the final most important thing to know, then I can just click on my balance and then here click withdraw. 
And then I can again pick whether I want to do a euro withdrawal or crypto. Now if I want to do euro, I can select the bank account right here. And the way that you add a bank account to withdrawal too is by using that bank account to deposit money first. So I've used a couple of bank accounts already to make deposits and I can now select those as well to withdraw. Now you want to make sure that your Bitfavo account name is the same name that is linked to your bank account because otherwise it doesn't work. But now I can just pick one of them and then choose how much I want to withdraw. You can also click on your balance at the top and then it just enters that amount. Then click continue and you can see there are no withdrawal fees whatsoever. So now I can click confirm and withdraw. And now the withdrawal is complete and the money is on its way to my bank account. Now to withdraw crypto, then again you want to click available balance. And then instead of in the euro section, you want to go to crypto. And if it's your first time doing this, you will need to enable crypto withdrawals. So to do this in the withdrawal section where it says crypto, click on continue. And then here click enable crypto withdrawals. And then you will need to set up two-factor authentication to do this. So you can use an app such as Google Authenticator or Alfie. And then when you want to withdraw the crypto, you will need to enter the code that it says in the app. And that's basically an extra layer of security so that they know that it is actually you who is withdrawing the money. So click continue and then click enable. And for this, I would need to first verify my phone number. But I don't want to do this right now, but you can go ahead and set this up. It will not take that much time. Now, finally, I want to show you that you can also do staking. So to do this in the top right, click on your profile. Then when you scroll down a little bit, you will see under rewards, you have staking and lending. Now, the lending is basically that you lend out the money and there you will have a reward rate of up to 5%. But you can also do staking and here you can see the assets you can stake and the percentage you will get and this is on a yearly basis so for example right now xc infinity is the highest now with staking there is a risk of losing your money if something happens to the crypto project for example but let's say solana is pretty solid i think and they will get you five percent per year and i already own a tiny bit of solana so therefore for me it's already set up here but what you can do is just go to settings and then click enable, in this case Solana staking, and then click proceed. And now I have enabled it and then it will be added automatically. So once you have set it up, then in your wallet here, you can see Solana has the tiny blue square with the percentage, which means that it is currently being staked. And you can see it right here as well. So rewards to date is one cent. And if you click on it, you can see when the payouts are. So it's once a week in this case, and it adds up to 5% per year. And you can always just disable it and you can still sell and buy the cryptocurrency. So it's not like you cannot trade it and it's locked. So now you know exactly how to use the Bitfavo app. Now again, if you would like to get started with Bitfavo and save quite a lot of money, on fees so again up to 10,000 for free and there's a 0.25% transaction fee which means that you will save 25 euros in fee if you reach the 10,000 in trading then you can go to sign up through the link down in the description so that concludes this Bitfavo app tutorial if this video was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel and with that being said I will see you in the next video